Valley News Live Storm Team. All right, beneficial rainfall once again to the valley. As we take a look up north, the rainfall total is a little bit lower, although some showers just passing through Grand Forks, dropping a third of an inch there. 5,400 at Hector International Airport, and as I mentioned, almost an inch in Moorhead. We see the band of the heavier showers from southern Barnes County, southern Stutzman County, right through uh, southern Cass and Clay counties, as well as northern Becker. That's where the heaviest rainfall totals were, and some areas did pick up over an inch. There was some hail as well. 63 right now. The wind not as gusty. Take a look at this and help me find a warm front. First of all, we have a temperature of 71, Sisseton, Oak 66, Fargo now 63. Go north of the interstate, and everybody's down in those mid 40s. Langdon 45, 43 for Roseau and Thief River Falls. This is where the showers are focused as well. So, if you are in the southern counties, it does look like quieter conditions, although we are seeing some developing thunder showers trying to pop up in Richland County, moving to the north and east. Spotty sprinkles south, most of the organized rain pushing into northwest Minnesota. Now, here's a look at Stutzman County from Hankinson, Lidgerwood, all the way up to the north and east. These are moving off to the east, by the way. and will bring some light rain compared to what we saw earlier today, which was much heavier. Here's another band getting ready to press up through the Grand Forks area. Fairfield just exiting, Northwood just exiting to the north. And as we pass into the evening hours, the majority of the wet weather will be from Norman and Polk counties all the way through Clearwater, Beltrami, and Lake of the Woods eventually as well. Your hour by hour forecast shows that northwest Minnesota will be the focal point for most of the rain showers through this evening. Now watch as I set it in motion between now and 10 o'clock. We'll get a little break in the cloudiness and temperatures will hover in the 60s for most of our southern counties this evening and then fall off eventually into the 50s by the time we get to 10 o'clock though. Looking on the left hand side of your screen, wow, more showers and thunderstorms developing in the overnight and it really looks like most of the activity will be focused to the west. Devil's Lake, Carrington, New Rockford, and all the way up towards the, uh, the Pembina area. A chance for starting your day out with the umbrellas and thunder showers will be making their way through with temperatures in the 50s for everyone. It looks like a soggy Thursday. Now, we're going to have two areas of enhanced precipitation, heavier up to the north and to the west of Fargo-Moorhead. And then by the afternoon, midday, showers pushing up from the south. These will be the soggy soaker variety that lasts for the better part of the day, pushing through Minnesota. Again, moderate to heavy uh, rainfall out to the west. No snowfall. That's good news. Temperatures tomorrow will only make it into the 50s to near 65 degrees in the far south and rainfall potential in the Devil's Lake Basin, the northern Cheyenne Basin and the James River Valley will be between a tenth of an inch and an inch and a half, maybe even isolated locations picking up two inches of rain. And in Minnesota where the lighter showers will be, we're talking around a tenth to two tenths. 55 to start your morning in Fargo. Best chance of rain for us will be in the midday hours to the afternoon. It'll be breezy once again from the southeast, 15 to 25 miles per hour. Elsewhere, temperatures in the low 60s across the south. This includes Lakes Country. Breezy with the wettest weather up to the north. We're talking the Devil's Lake Basin all the way up toward Cavalier, where temperatures in the afternoon will be in the mid to upper 50s. Canadian geese spotted Michelle taking a gorgeous photo of them flying through the raindrops as they made their way. Across the skies of the valley, a quiet close to the work week and quite pleasant as well with temperatures in Fargo near 70 degrees, cooler north. Saturday hot, but a chance of strong thunderstorms developing. Some may be severe, especially in South Dakota. We'll keep our eyes on that potential. We're uh, getting ready to make sure that we keep you covered both here and online for that. If it does get to be bad, we will be on top of it. Of course, you always are. All right, thanks, Hutch. Later in sports, North Dakota State Baseball is prepping for their most important series this season. Alex will have the details. Up next, find out why sage grouse hunters will be disappointed this season.